Okay, welcome everyone. I am up here doing some skiing, pond skim and hot dogging. <laughs> Don't know how well the sleep here, because I seem to be in and out of satellite reception. And I'm blocked. There we go. I gotta make sure I keep the camera on this, because I think I was blocking it with my thumb. So, like I was saying, I think I'm in and out of satellite reception. And as you can see here, I'm about to do what used to be called back in the 70s, late 60s, early 70s, hot dogging. And it later became known as freestyle skiing, moguls, aerials. And it was like back in the day when like the Spread Eagle, the Daffy, Twister, Galande, 360, that was, and skiing bumps, that was hot dogging back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I've gotten I've gotten a few pond skims in already. And what's really cool is even though I'm not on a bike, the speeds I'm hitting uh, earlier. Greetings, Kelsha, uh, Kelsha McCoy, and telling Stuart it's not chosen. Welcome. You guys are about to hopefully see me do some uh, pond skimming. <laughs> and what was I saying? Hey, Sam Adams, welcome. You're about to see what it's like to have a feeling as if you're in the Tour de France Peloton, but maybe not on a bike, but on skis. In other words, the speeds will be about the same. Although what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do some hot dogging. A little bit of hot dogging. Freest, uh, freestyle, might do, a, might do a, like a spread eagle, uh, daffy. And I have to be careful because I don't wanna drop the phone. So I, I can't go ballistic on here. Yes, it is beautiful. Okay, I am up. I'm up to where I'm going to put on my skis up here. <laughs> oh, that, oh yeah, that's what I need. That's, that, that's what I need to be doing. Oh, I'm going to get, get it out of the way. <laughs> oh, you guys, I think I know where I'm going to take you guys. We're going to do some skiing and then we're going to do some hot dogging. So what that means is you're gonna come along with me on this hike. So I've got a hike up there. I know you guys are waiting to see me do some skiing. But first I gotta do some hiking. And this is why I like summer skiing more than resort skiing. No, it's uh, CJ, CJ DJ. I think I got your name right. Well, let me see. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is like I said. I'm going to be in and out of connection. It's challenging. Carry my skis and hold on, hold on to my phone at the same time. Okay, I got to figure something. I got to figure something out here. This is it. Skis out each time I take a step. Because if I try to put them on. I'm just gonna be dropping them. Let me, let me see, cause I look like a Jerry. Right now I'm looking like a Jerry. If you're a skier, a Jerry is a term that's used for like a goofy skier. Okay. So this is not gonna be the most smooth connection there is, but I'll do my best to get whatever I can in. Okay. I gotta swap my skis around. <laughs> Let's see, I can, maybe I'll just carry them. That's what I'll do, I'll just carry them and I'll get myself a little bit of an arm workout. There, that's better. Whew. Whoa, there you go. Gotta get up to the top there. That's what I gotta get up to, right at the top there. Some. So I feel like right now, 
it's like if I were on a bike, I would be doing a hill climb. And so I just gotta imagine that I'm like going up a, a hill climb. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try to pick the best line up here. Okay, almost to the top. It gets pretty steep up here. So it's not gonna be the easiest. I feel like I'm getting a good left arm workout here. And I'm getting sunscreen in my eyes. Okay. Don't like that. Don't like when I get sunscreen in my eyes. Oh, that's why I need to get a bandana. I need to invest in a bandana. Cause sunscreen, ninja. How's it going? Cootie M. How are you doing? I am up here day two in a row, up here near Artist Point. Yesterday I was up skiing higher up. And then the day before I did a hike. So this is day number three of getting some vertical gain in. I'm trying to see if I can average 2,200 vertical feet of gain for about a week, maybe a couple weeks. It's gonna be challenging. Some days I'm gonna get very little vertical feet and someday I'll be, some days I'll be getting name. How's it going? Welcome. As I was saying, some days I'll be getting a lot more vertical in, but right now I'm trying to figure out how I can get a better grip on my skis because my hands are sweaty. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I am looking like a total Jerry. For all your skiers out there, this is what this is. This, I'm acting so Jerry right now. Classic Jerry. <laughs> I know you guys want to pop them. I guess it's now time to be ambidextrous because you're used to carrying them with my right. Oh, this is, I am looking like a complete Jerry right now. <laughs> They're all like, does that guy know how to carry his skis? Okay. All right, come on. <laughs> okay, I'm so close. I am so close. I am like, okay, come on. Okay, wow. I had to give it a final push there, but I'm at the top here. This is gonna be, I'm hoping this doesn't cut out on me. So I'm gonna have to ski kind of slow. Cause if I go fast and it cuts out on me, you guys will miss on some of the action. Huh. So yeah, to answer any of you guys' question, is it cold up here? Not at all. I am actually sweating a little bit. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's do this. Okay. Woo, yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That was, I hope you guys got all of that in. Okay, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get off this thing. Let's 
see. Sarah Ad Sam Adams, how you doing? Uh, how you now? I gotta get myself. <laughs> Monique, W. Oh, Monique. Uh, I almost got stuck right coming off from right up. I'm, is that what I need? I gotta look into the getting that. If you like set it up down at the bottom, like a power bank, you should be chilling. Get. I just found out something. What I need to get is a cell boost. That's what I need to get. The brand you should look for is called Wee Boost. Wee Boost. Keep that in mind. I'll say that. We boost. All right. Thanks. We boost. Yes. Ramses calling. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to I'll, I'll maintain some coverage here, but I got to remember that. We boost. Monique W. Yeah, like I said, I am kind of in and out. So I'm going to do one more palm skim. And then I've got to go get some video. And you'll notice one thing, I'm not wearing a helmet. And typically, I don't, I don't typically ski without a helmet. But when you look, if you're a cycling fan, and if you watch those old races back from like the early 90s, 80s, and 70s, those guys were descending, sprinting. Ellen Grob, how you doing? I'm just reminiscing back of the days when people would be racing the Tour de France and they would not have a helmet on. <laughs> Carlos Cecilia, oh, I'll be careful. I'm not doing anything super crazy. But it does feel kind of good to be without a helmet because it is, it is really, it, has, it is actually, Getting pretty warm out here. Thank you, Ramses. Thank you. Ah, that's another. I'm gonna hike up another 30, 30 vertical feet. Ah, another. Ah, make it another 40 vertical feet. I gotta get some speed for this because I gotta make sure I make it across. <laughs> There's nothing worse than coming up short on a pond skim. The temperature is probably in the upper 60s with the snow reflected, with the sunlight reflecting off the snow. It probably feels like in the middle 70s. Andreas Helsing, welcome. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty warm up here today. And it's gonna get warmer throughout the week. Temperatures will probably be in the 80s by the end of the week. Maybe not necessarily up here. They'll be in the 70s, but it'll get warm. I'm gonna hike up just a little more ways up here. So this is, I believe, what you're seeing me hike up is a very popular cat track. During the winter months, uh, I want to say, during the winter months, this is a fun cat track to come down. It's the same, it's the same track they use in the ski to sea race for the downhill portion. And you can hit speeds uh, in the 90 to 100 kilometer an hour range, 55 to 60 miles an hour coming down this stretch and I'm hiking up now, but today, Earlier, earlier today when I first got here, it, it is super slow. I only managed, it was less than 40 miles an hour. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put that on video because it's gotta be at least 40 miles an hour. Unless it's a pond skim. If it's a pond skim, any speed goes. But if it's skiing, I've gotta be hitting at least 40 miles an hour to, for it to be video worthy. So I'm gonna hike up just a little ways here. Okay, I'm gonna stop because the thing, I wanna make sure I have enough speed. That's the thing I'm really cautious about, making sure I have enough speed. Because I don't wanna get stuck in the middle of the pond 
and then have to, cause it's a little deep. So, and I don't want to drop my phone. I don't want to drop my phone either. So, okay, so I'm going to set my skis down. Whew. All right, take a little breather. It is so, it's, what's interesting is talking at the same time, I feel like I get a little out of breath more quickly. Ah, thank you for someone coming in from Sweden. Thank you, much love here from Artis Point. Much love from Artis Point, or below Artis Point. This is, I don't know what the name of this pond is, but I'm hoping it might cut out, like I said. This, the connection here, it might cut out. So, hope for the best. And I'll see you guys. If it does cut out on me, I'll see you guys at the other side. Okay, let's get my skis on. Woo! And I'm going to probably be hitting speeds probably about, uh, about 30 to 40 kilometers an hour. Hey, Nokia. Hope you're doing good, Nokia. I am about to hit Peloton is coming out for the beginning of a stage. So that's what I'm going to be casually doing down here. Yeah, uh, Ryan Bird, my helmet. It's in my car right now. But I'm going to be getting it. I'm going to be putting it back on when I actually get some uh, GoPro video footage. But right now, as you can see, I'm kind of living back in the past, back in the early 90s. 80s when like cyclists and skiing skiers it was like a rarity to see someone in a helmet so i'll keep i'll be i'll be super careful here here's some more scenery Let, let's how about i'm gonna show you guys some scenery there's bagley lakes I am aiming it right at Bagley Lakes right now. It's another favorite ski it, ski uh, area of mine. Good old Bagley Lakes. I've had probably some of the days I've had skiing. That area behind that you see behind me have topped out probably they're in the 95 to 99 percentile in terms of like awesomeness when it comes to skiing. <sighs> okay, you guys ready for this? It's time to do some pond skimming. Like I said, it might cut out. So, see, how do I want to do this? Do I want to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do a, a POV view so you guys can see. Ready for this? Okay, here we go. Woo! Ah, oh, I need more speed. Oh, I need more speed. Okay, I am back. So it's gonna cut in and out on me for a little bit, but it's kind of good it did cut out a little bit because there are some Bob, Mar Bob Marley playing in the background and that will, <laughs> that will surely get the video flagged for copyright. So Bob Marley, I think it's one of those artists that if you put on your video, it gets like banned in like 200 plus countries or something ridiculous like that. So yeah, there's certain, that's why it's like, whenever I'm walking by music, I kind of have to like, because yeah, otherwise you'll get fl even if it's background it gets flagged oh, wow. yeah that sucks so your yeah video will get taken down what's that the whole video will get yeah it'll down? either be muted uh -huh. or it just won't be visible so that's and it's even background music so it's like it's kind of hard to do videos at the gym sometimes yeah sure. joey bloom yes the sky is beautiful Ah, do one more pond skim and then put my helmet back on and retake the footage because I had it on cinema mode, not activity mode. So it kind of got a little zoomed in. That's all right. I need to get, I need the vertical today. I need to do at least 2,000, 2,000 vertical gain today, 2,200. Wow, good exercise, that's for sure. Yeah, trying to see if I can average 2,200 vertical feet a day over like a period of like two weeks. 
I was gonna do three weeks, but it was too hot last week. <laughs> okay, now that I'm back here. So from my home to up here, it is about an hour and 15 minutes. Give or take a few minutes, depending on traffic. Today was closer to an hour 20. So it all depends on the traffic. All right. That's gonna be, that's gonna be, that's gonna be gone by tomorrow. It sure is nice to actually be able to at least have some success doing this. And I think I've finally got it on landscape. I know I've been doing, oh, better get out of the way. Coming in fast, keeps cutting out. And two, I'm sure that, yeah, so I'm gonna try to make this good. I'm gonna hike up higher up, get a little more speed. And so I'm gonna be hitting at least, to where I can go at least 30 miles an hour. Then I'll know I'll make it across the pond. Speed is your friend here. This is what? I should look and see how many vertical feet I've done today. My watch will tell me. Let me get up here a little ways. I'm gonna hike up. Keep hiking up a little further. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop right here and see if this thing will stay steady. Okay, so I'm hoping that the video doesn't cut, the connection doesn't cut out on me. Cause I've got some, de I'm gonna be getting some decent speed this time, but I'll have some video with my GoPro if it does cut out. So like I said, I'm probably, there's a little bit more footage that I'm adding today from yesterday's footage and I might make some modifications and considering that I've done a couple of live streams it might be a couple days before I get a video uploaded with some of my GoPro footage and it basically kind of goes along with my theme for my cycling blog video where it's like the holiday uh, the 4th of July holiday can often be a time of really great depression I hate saying that it can just be it can be a downer day and I know last year was a super, I think last year, oh, I don't want to think about last year because the pandemic, social distancing, it was hell last year. And I knew that I had to just keep myself active because I know myself well enough that if I tend to do less and less activity, I find myself starting to sink into a depression. And that's, once you, once you learn yourself well enough, you begin to see the warning signs. And so even like on a recovery day, I can't just sit at home and do nothing. I've got to actually do something. So on my recovery days, I might just like do like a, a mile walk. Or I might do like a couple of cliff jumps at the local, at the local uh, trail, uh, park, Watkin Falls Park. N.A. Hot dogging. N.A. So hot dogging. No, it's actually what skiing used to sound, what skiing was termed. Uh, freestyle skiing back in the day it was termed as hot dogging and then it became known as freestyle skiing so that's if you're like a really like if you're like a really good skier skiing the bumps and going like doing a bunch of aerials Susan Smith hello Susan MNO 95 fight 666 Hello to all of you. Much love to all of you. Okay, you guys ready for this? I'm gonna strap on, I'm gonna click in my other ski here. Hey, Ellen Oakland. All right, wish me luck that the camera doesn't go out. So this time I'm gonna give you guys a first person view of what it's like to do a pond skim. Come on camera, don't go out on me. Don't go out on me, connection. Okay, hold on a sec. Someone's gone. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna have GoPro footage of this. So, What's your channel? Uh, it's Defi uh, Defying Odds Donnelly. Defying Odds Donnelly. 
Yep, two N's and two L's for my name. Defying Odds Donnelly. All right, cool, thanks, yeah. Yeah, let's try to do what I can with whatever coverage I have up here. Okay, here we go. I almost feel like I'm kind of like in the Peloton right now, kind of cruising along at 30 to 40, 45 kilometers an hour. I'm gonna leave my skis here, and it is time for me to go back and get my helmet. All right. So I'm back to get my helmet. All right. Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that water is, it's cold, but I'm not going for a swim in it. There's no way. Gene excess. Oh, pond skimming is the best. When you, <sighs> pond skimming on a hot day like today, even if you get your feet a little bit wet, that's, that's how you get, and it's also kind of a good way if you're, have you got social anxiety? Because then you, you saw there, I kind of inter I, I interacted with some people there. And when you're doing something you enjoy, yeah. Joe Brown, greetings from, greetings from Artist Point. Ah, getting, going back and getting my helmet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream of actually doing some skiing. <laughs> I never thought that I would actually be able to make it work as quick as I did. Hey, big dummy. That's an in interesting, interesting name there. But yeah. So yeah, now, now I'm getting back to where the coverage is good. I'm, this is where I, where I did my... Uh, yeah, so the live stream I did yesterday, I was down over there that's where i was coming uh from at it was down that way yesterday much better coverage down there Whew. so i'm gonna catch my breath a little bit here oh let's see i'm, I'm gonna see how many ver how much vertical have i done today i can find out how much vertical i've done okay let's see if i can figure out i'm trying to see how much how much vertical i've done for today Okay, I don't want the time, I want vertical. So I've done 1,508 feet of vertical so far today. I don't read any books. Well, I take that back. I do, but I don't know. When it comes to reading, I kind of get, I kind of, I kind of slack when it comes to reading. So I don't know any books off the top of, up of my head that I've read lately, but no, not really. So I guess to answer your question, no, I don't really read much in the way of books as of now. So like I said, I am going to go ahead, come up here, and I am going to say my goodbyes. And like I said, there's going to be a lot more action coming your guys' way as I attempt to maybe see. I mean, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave you guys with this. But this question, I feel like it's almost the same thing with therapists. It is so hard to find a good therapist. And when it comes to, uh, when it comes to medication, it, it doesn't really work. So my journey through my channel, I think it's going to be overcoming depression and social anxiety through willpower and nature. Now, is it going to work for someone who is severely depressed? I mean, I'm talking to the point where... They don't even come out of their room, even to go to the bathroom. I have lived with someone that's that depressed. They would stay in their room and they, they wouldn't even go to the bath. They, I mean, they would, I mean, it was, it was that bad. 
Do I like being red too? Yeah, I like being red too. I actually liked that. I wasn't really red much growing up too, but I do like being red too. And so getting back, is it possible to beat depression, social anxiety through willpower? <laughs> now, it doesn't mean I'm not gonna seek a therapist because I'm still gonna go out and right now I'm seeing a new therapist as it is and I've only seen them twice. So it's, hard, it's too soon to say, but can, can you really overcome depression and anxiety through willpower and nature and physical activity? And what happens if, you know, bad luck comes my way and I, you know, knock on wood, get injured. Then that's where my programming comes into play. Programming, like that, that job, if I can't be active due to an injury, that's where the programming comes into play. That's what will keep the mind stimulated. It's like solving puzzles, SQL and Python and JavaScript, trying to figure out a problem. It's like trying to solve a puzzle. And people, people like to solve puzzles, like those little puzzle piece things. Oh, and also meditation. That's probably another thing you could do, I could do too, meditation. If I, you know, like I said, knock on wood, uh, hopefully I don't get severely injured, but there's meditation, uh, prayer, uh, what else is there? You can do, you can probably do some kind of activity. Uh, what else is there? Uh, programming, video games. Uh, luckily, the hiking group I do go out on hikes with, uh, they do have like eat outs. So like may, I may not necessarily be able to go hiking, but at least I can join them like at the, at like the pizza places or like the sushi or like the steakhouses they go to. So there's always options. And someone asked me this question yesterday. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, do, are the hiking groups helping me? Yes, they are helping me quite a bit. They are helping me a lot, actually. I want to answer that because I know someone asked me that yesterday. And I want to make sure that I'm not missing anyone here. Okay, good. All right. So, yeah. Someone asked me yesterday, am I getting a lot of help with these group hikes? And yes, I actually am. And so it's taking a little bit of time, but I feel like I may be finally starting to cross that threshold where I could start, where I actually might be starting to make some friends. <laughs> but I'll keep you guys updated because I feel like I'm right at the threshold right now. <laughs> and I'm just like right on that borderline. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I think a lot of it, maybe it's something very simple that I'm not doing because isn't that how it often works? Sometimes, sometimes you're overlooking something really simple. And it's like you have an aha moment. It's like, oh, that's what I was doing wrong. But yeah, so I am going to cut this short in about a minute or so. And I'm going to go in here into these trees here. Show you one more time some of the scenery here. That word was... What's a good word? What's a good word to say? What's a, I need to expand on my vocabulary. Awesome people out there. There you go. Thank you all you awesome people out there for joining in on this epic live stream. I am going to get some more sunscreen on me, rehydrate, get some calories in me, and then do about another five, 800 vertical feet. So today is not done yet. So once again, thank you all for your encouragement. And I'll, try, I'll look into getting a Patreon. Uh, and, and whatever else, I know I've been given some suggestions, but thank you all for joining in, for all of your support, encouragement. So like, like I say in all of my past videos, there's gonna be a lot more action, a lot more blogging, and a lot more to my journey. And hopefully, especially for all you, and one final message before I close out, one final message, and this is geared especially to you people in your teens, 20s, and maybe even your 30s. Go out there, take, Take the bull by the horns. I'm 46. You guys who are much younger, go out there, defy the odds. Use your youth as, a, as an advantage. Go out there, go get them. It may be hard at first, but you too can do it. So once again, thank you all. And I'm gonna be signing off for now and I'll be back at you guys very soon. Talk to you later.